be telling you guys how to fix your i9 1400k so this is a 24 core processor made by intel and so i've been having a bunch of issues and i've seen a lot of just reddit posts and other stuff about people having the same issue and i figured it out about time so i had a bunch of problems where games would just not open or just crash so only certain games would not work so like but the only problem is the thing is it was games that would actually have more detail or just like asking for a lot of power but games that wouldn't crash on me was like arkham knight arkham city hitman 3 um injustice 2 ready or not arc survival evolve these are games that aren't that intensive of quality so especially like Ark Survival Evolve, it's not really, it's a 2015 game. It doesn't really ask for a lot compared to its newer counterpart, Ark Survival Ascended. As it's asking for more detail, so it's putting more stress on my GPU and the CPU itself too. And so Ark Survival Ascended w would, um, the thing is, this game wouldn't randomly crash. It wouldn't, like, it wouldn't let me load into the game after I, like, do it five times loading in. The Last of Us wouldn't even work at all. It just would open and then crash after a couple seconds. Red Dead would work, but it would crash like once in a while. Same thing for Kill the Justice League. It would just work out for 15 minutes long and it just crash. God of War would like flicker against the screens. Like I would get see my wallpaper while I would be playing. But um, just, just the random stuff. Um, I would get a red light too when i would stress test the cpu once in a while but that means that like something's wrong with your cpu but after i underclocked the cpu it disappeared even after i stress tested it like crazy like it wouldn't appear at all so i'm kind of happy about that so first thing you're gonna do how to fix this issue is you're gonna have to install the intel extreme tuning utility i'll put this in the description for you guys so it's easier to find it so you just want to open the app, install it, all that good stuff. You're going to have to uh, go to advanced tuning. So when you're in the advanced tuning, it just tells you just what do you want to do? You want to do more core voltage and all that stuff. So you're going to go to a, a performance active core tuning. So the default is 57 X. You're going to have to put that down all the way to 53. This makes your CPU weaker. For some reason, the CPU gets like very powerful at the point where it crashes the game. I think it's like a, meth a method in Intel, so it doesn't the CPU doesn't kill itself. So, kind of a bummer. You're making the CPU weaker, even though you, you you're going to be paying almost six hundred dollars for the CPU, and you have to weaken it. Come on, Intel! Like, what is this? I'm like on the verge of going to AMD at this point, but I love Intel a lot. I've been always with Intel, so I don't know. After this, you want to stress test the CPU. I'm not going to stress this right now because I don't want to make my PC sound like a jet engine. So, no thank you. And then you just want to just test it out, check it out, see if anything problems, like any lights go on or if the CPU is like overheating or anything. This will tell you if your PC is thermal throttling or power limit throttling. Thermal throttling is just where the cooler can't handle the CPU. So, the CPU weakens itself to... Um, so the CPU can cool down better. Thermal throttling is, I think it's power limit where you can't get enough power into the CPU. So the CPU weakened itself. So same concept as this, you just can't get enough volts into the CPU so you can like overclock it and all that stuff.